because it's a past broadcast. And it was only eight seconds long. Let's just hit start. Just telling you what it says. Mm, I don't know. There. Oh, boy. Send it to all the places. Why aren't you talking? Oh, looking at the stream and making sure everything's the way it should be because I had to change it for the commercial party. So I'm making sure that's legit before we start anything. Mm. I think it is. I'm going to enjoy my coffee, which is hard enough since it's fucking whatever this is. Ah, Keurig? That's what it is. Yeah, but it's the super coffee. Yeah, but it's still like the ghost of real coffee. Mm. The flavor is there, but it doesn't do much else. It is a false alarm of the coffee persuasion. Well, you know, it's whatever. Yeah. More detective shenanigans lie ahead. The more I thought about this game, the more I thought, eh, there's not a whole lot going on. And the puzzles aren't even that hard, but maybe it fleshes itself out later. It's not bad, it's just pretty simple. Yeah. Seems just pretty straightforward, yeah. It's Monkey Island, it's not. Hmm. But, you know. What is it, Sierra Games? Close enough to one of those. Sierra Games. They're like the uh, generic sort of versions of LucasArts point and click adventures. No. Oh. LucasArts had Monkey Island and Loom. Loom was a good one. Played that all the time because you get through it if you were really good at it I could get through it in like an hour and a half wow see I don't get that about games or about why people want to like do it really fast finish a game really fast because uh, it's like what's the point no I wasn't doing it to go really fast it was just since I knew all of the beats it's it's just a point and click adventure game so the story never changes mm -hmm. the only thing you do it uh, as far as difficulty is like or at least for the mechanics of that game for Loom, you had this walking stick that you could cast spells with, and on easy, there weren't notes. You just clicked on parts of the stick to reproduce the sounds to cast spells, and then as you increase difficulty, like your stick is chopped up more and more progressively into more and more notes, and the um, the songs that you have to learn that are the spells get more and more intricate. So we would have reams of paper. And you have to write down all the notes in the uh. sequence. Yeah, so it would, to, you know, mix it up, you'd go hard, but most of the time it was just like eight notes, just one octave. And I could blast through that thing in like an hour. Oh, wow. It was pretty fun. Rusty Nailbender always got his ass eaten by the dragon. <laughs> I'm Rusty. Rusty Nailbender. Maybe no one wants to show up on a Monday. Mm. Usually people trickle in after 
after the five minute mark. Oh. We'll just do it. You're listening to FFOP Radio. Reach the eye. Welcome to the show. My name is David. This is another FFOP Let's Play live stream game. I don't know. You know what's up, Kayla? We're gonna be playing some mystery paranormal phenomena detective type shit. More of the dark side detective. Let me get everything set back up and get you faded into the game scene here, and we'll be moving on. Wait a minute. These are different cases from the last time. Because we played Tome... Tome Alone. Tome Alone. And now all I've got is missing presumed dark side as a case. And the two bonuses. Did something huh? happen? Oh, no. I bet... God dang it. Did I choose the wrong one? Please hold. <laughs> oh, I think I did. Shit. Sorry, everybody. Hold on. Redo. Because there's two. Dark Side Detective and Dark Side Detective, a fumble in the dark. Oh. And they were two for the price of 20% uh, off. So I got them. <laughs> and then I loaded the wrong one. So please hold. There will be mystery, though. Don't you worry. And paranormal. And paranormal. Probably. But I was like, hey, where'd that game go that I did? Say hello to little dirt bot there. Mystery of the missing case files. <laughs> Whoops. All right, let's get you fixed. Kapow. Rad silly city. Rad silly. All right, here we go. See, now this looks more like it. This is an older... I was like, I don't remember yeah, the computer <laughs> looking like that, that, and it was like pineapple system, and I was like, I don't... Maybe the music's a little bit different, too, and I was like, you know what, whatever. Come to find out, totally fucked up. So, uh, as you can see, we did Tome Alone last time. Uh, probably should have started from the beginning, because there might be a through line. Oh, I wonder. So, but whatever. Whoops. But it, then they shouldn't give you three options. I don't think it matters. So we're going to play the one I just picked, Malice in Wonderland. All right. Case summary. The chief has sent me to the Jones residence. Dooley is there with further details. Straightforward. Okay. Malice in Wonderland. <clears throat> Officer Dooley. Whoa, almost shot you there, detective. You shouldn't be sneaking around like that. Uh, detective uh, McQueen sounds like the Boston detective. Okay. Dooley, you watched me drive up. He always sounds like Tony Danza. Yep. <laughs> I had my siren on. You waved at me as I pulled in. <laughs> I guess this place has spooked me out a little. So what happened here? Chief Scully uh, just called me up and told me to get here ASAP. No details. Seven-year-old kid, Alice, went missing a day ago. No sign of her leaving the house. Seems to be <clears throat> the kind of spooky crap. I mean, the kind of case you're into, detective. Great. Let's get started. Let's see, go inside. We can talk to Dooley a little more. Let's look at the squad car. Ah, uh, twist, twisty, twisty squad car. I call it the Popo Moto. Thanks, Dooley. Shut up. <laughs> Roy Jones. Officer Dooley, why is there a hobo dripping all over my carpet? Uh, that's Detective Francis McQueen, Mr. Jones. He's here to investigate. I see. Twin Lakes finest, eh? So, how can I help you, detective? Tell me about Alice. 
I'll level with you, Detective. I don't have many dealings with her. She has a limited conversation pool. She's seven. Exactly. A tedious age. So I leave that to the nanny. She's around here somewhere. Where were you uh, last night? Why didn't you notice she was missing? I was uh, out. How wonderfully shady. Uh, have you uh, uh, got an alibi? Prostitute. <laughs> Where I was is none of your business, detective. My taxes pay your salary. They also pay for the cell and questioning room I'm going to have Dooley here take you to. Fine. Call this number. They'll vouch for me. Busty Bell's Booty Boutique. Boom. Classy stuff. <laughs> ah, Bell's. Fond memory, says Dooley. Hmm? <laughs> I mean, where was he? A bell shop? What's that? <laughs> I already see matches. Ooh. All right, let's check out this ashtray. I hope you don't smoke around your kid. Thankfully, detective, I'm rarely around my kid. <laughs> All right, let's go upstairs. Let's look at these flowers. A place this fancy to serve something nicer than plastic flowers telephone what an odd place for a telephone they must have run out of places to draw i mean put it <laughs> master bedroom we'll go to the daughter's bedroom first look for clues oh you're a big daughter this is jones oh can i ask my baby my baby is gone okay can you tell me a little about ella she just disappeared my baby <laughs> is there anything you have to find her. Goodbye. <laughs> find her! <laughs> okay, let's look at this man. A drawing of our suspect. Really? I'll put out an APB. No, Dooley, don't do that. A tree. Hey, I know that tree. It owes me five bucks. Mm. Pony. I've never seen a horse with five legs before. Hmm. Kayla says questioning room because they don't want to try pronouncing interrogation. <laughs> <laughs> questioning room. There's no time for art, detective. Black light. This looks useful. Bling. All right. Let's check out these drawers. I don't have mu much use for a dozen pink socks. Huh. Both drawers. Teddy. Tell me where she is, bear. I'm only kidding. You don't know. You're only a bear. A stupid know-nothing bear. <laughs> all right, I think we've learned all we can here. See you, bitch. You're into the master bedroom. <gasps> the maid. No, the nanny. Tell me about Alice. She's spoiled and sticks her nose where it doesn't belong. But that's what's. <clears throat> but that's what having a super rich parents will do, I guess. Mm. What's a nanny doing in the master bedroom? Nothing suspicious, that's for sure. No siree. <laughs> How long have you been working for the Joneses? Joneses, detective. Even though it ends with an S, you still pronounce... Oh, God damn it. Is now really the best time? It's always a good time for grammar, Officer Dooley. Anyway, answer the question. Long enough to harbor no ill will whatsoever. Okay, Nanny McFeed. We're done here for now. I'll get back to work and nothing else. Let's check out this family photo. Alice and her mom look quite happy there. Uh, we're not going to look at it, I guess. Hard to believe this is the same woman we spoke to. The stress of all this has hit her hard. She looks like shit. Jesus Christ. She seems like a sweet kid. Don't worry, we'll find her, detective. Check out the bed. A waterbed, very fancy. Looks like something has been kicked under here. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Strange page. It's a peculiar pattern from the Occult for Dummies book. Black light marker. The label says... For use under black light. <laughs> and matches. Alright, so let's check out these drawers. 
Seems a blood to go rifling around uninvited in somebody's drawers. Blah, blah, blah. Well, sure. But next time. Can't Let's you, go. Can't you... Did you look with, with your black light for whatever you just... It's not a black light. It's a marker that reacts under black light. Oh. So completely useless. Let's check out the clock. This reminds me of my own grandfather. Your grandfather was a clock? What? No, he had a clock. Shame. I thought I'd finally found out something interesting about you. What? I I'm interesting. Whatever you say, detective. She got his closet. You had to come in here, Dooley? Jesus. Hmm. <laughs> a black light bulb. Maybe I'll take this as well. Now all we need is a disco ball, some white clothes, and fat beats. Then we've got ourselves a good night. A good night is finding this kid. Officer Dooley, you fucking idiot. Let's check out the study. Locked. I wonder where to find a key. And there's literally nothing else. Oh, one of those crystals is worth more than we get paid in a year. We could take one. Yeah, you passed the corruption test. Well done, detective. <laughs> Yo, Mr. Jones. So, how can I help you, detective? Uh, I want access to your study. I'd love to help, detective, but uh, I seem to have misplaced the key. Sorry. Goodbye. I've taken up enough of your time. <laughs> <laughs> and I have nothing further to say, detective. Kindly leave me be. The cigarette. Nice schooner. Haha, <laughs> you dummy! It's not a sh schooner, it's a sailboat. <laughs> a schooner is a sailboat, Dooley. Idiot. Alright, so I gotta find a... Oh, the chandelier. It was in the master bedroom? No. It was like in the hallway or something. I need to. F was it in the hallway? Yeah, it was. No, it was in the here. So I'll put the black light in the chandelier. I can't yeah, help but think hallway. this cheap black light would look out of place in this fancy chandelier. Well, yeah, but I want to see if there's any. Okay, whatever. There's nothing in here. And I looked in there. He also says, LOL, mall rats homage. Schooner is a sailboat. <laughs> uh, you won't tell me. Okay, yeah. I, why would you have a key to your own study, ma'am? Hey, nanny. Say, you're the nanny. <laughs> the very innocent nanny, yes. Uh, do you have keys for various uh, rooms? I am a nanny, not a maid. Right, uh, but do you? Yes. <laughs> May I have the key to the study then? Sure, there's nothing incriminating in there anyway. It's that easy. All right, master bedroom. So the study stands. Stairs again. Through here. God damn it. Study. Chapow. And hey, presto, we're in. It's painting. Roy Jones Esquire. It takes a certain type of uh, person to have an oil painting of themselves. Dog statue. This statue is ugly enough to be worth a lot of cash. <laughs> lantern. An old oil lantern. Seems to have some oil left, too. I'll take it. <laughs> I'm a detective. Fuck you. Magazine. Sorry. This magazine collection. Jeez, this guy's obsessed with jugs. Oh, I thought it'd be a different jug magazine each time. A nice collection of uh, books. That does suggest they've not been looked at for some time. For shame. Armchair. <gasps> hey, I just realized that there are only two seats in the entire house. Mm. <laughs> Don't be daft, Dooley. There are more. They're just off camera. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus. Well, then there's nothing in here. We look at the bookshelf, we look at the painting, the dog statue, the armchair. What do you say, Dooley? You can never trust a man who owns too many books. That's what I say. How many books is too many? Six? And how many books do you own? I don't feel comfortable with this line of questioning. Okay, so the study yielded nothing. Okay, so check out them jugs. Can you put the 
black light light into the oil thing. Into the oil thing? Yeah, it's both lights. Maybe it'll light it up. I don't know. Oh no, not on my watch is what he says when I tried that. Mm. Where can I put this black light? I can't touch any other. Oh, put it put it in. The, there's a, a a light next to the master bed. A lamp. Can you put it in there and see? I don't think I had access to it, but I could look. Now that the maid or the nanny might not be there anymore. Nope, she's here, and I can't do jack about shit. Goodbye. Hmm. Okay, let's look in the daughter's room again. She's still sad. She still offers me nothing. Dooley, what do you say? A lot of pink. Okay, great. Okay, I can't touch any of these. There's nothing in the closet. Oh, I know what. I'll put the matches with the lantern. You know, just in case. So now I've got a lit lantern. But nowhere's dark. Dark place is the closet. Or can you use it to look under the bed? Nothing happens in the closet. Plus, I already looked under the bed and found that paper. Nothing else you can tell me. Oh, the uh, there we go. There's an attic. Mm. Paint thinner. This paint then uh, fell when the shelf gave way. Not too much left in it now. I'll steal it! <laughs> paint cans. Those look heavy enough to knock somebody out cold. Broken lamp. Hmm. May not be broken after all. Just a blown bulb. I hope this doesn't reveal somebody's attic shame. <laughs> oh, oh what the hell? Says Dooley. Well, that doesn't look uh, ominous at all. The pattern on the wall looks... The pattern on the wall looks washed out in places. I wonder what would happen if I redrew it. Okay, I seem to have everything I need. Let's get down to some spooky hijinks and redraw those missing symbols. <laughs> uh... Weep boop. Weep boop. And bingo. Demon time. That should be it. Great. Maybe now's a good time to stop doing, well, anything really. Let's go. Even I'm not foolish enough to go in there with no light. I had the lantern. Right. Okay, Dooley, let's do this. No offense, detective, but I'm... Going nowhere near that creep fest. I'll, uh, stand guard out here. Oh, look. A little girl. There's Alice. Hello, mister. Hey, kiddo. Are you here to take me home? Yep. <laughs> Good. I'm hungry, and the sounds from downstairs are scaring me. Yeah, let's, uh, get out of here. Crash. Bang. Guy with a gun. Oh, it's a nanny. <laughs> nanny McFiend. Oh, whoa. Somehow she was suspicious after all. Not so fast, detective. Where's Dooley? That idiot. I knocked him out. All my ladies end up sounding like Kate Mulgrew. <laughs> I can't have you Check snooping company. around anymore. So I'm going to trap you here. <laughs> At least take the girl. Oh, I intend to. I'm her legal guardian, after all. It's my job to look after. Especially if anything would happen to her parents. Say, for example, they're getting trapped in the dark side's version of their bedroom. It's where they'd be now if Alice hadn't gotten into my stuff and stupidly trapped herself up here. I figured it'd be best to lay low until you had gone. I thought you'd have given up by now. Oh my god, so many dialogue options. 
What kind of cop would I be if I gave up a missing kid? So that's what it is. An inheritance scheme. Even if you do get rid of me, then what? Once Dooley wakes, you and your schemes will be done for. I doubt that. I'm going to go with this one. Even if you do get rid of me, then what? Alice knows what you're up to. She's a smart kid. If she's so smart, she'll know to keep her mouth shut. <laughs> well, this is what it is. An inherited scheme. You have to admit, it's a fairly perfect crime. It is. It, there you go. It is, actually. Bingo. Lemons. Welcome, Joe. <laughs> what kind of cop would I be if I gave up an innocent kid? The most of... TLPD? Sadly fair. TL? Hmm, good point. I'll have to come get you to drag him in here. Come on. And I did it. Oh no, we're on the outside. Okay, drag your friend in here and no funny business. Can't go back through there. I'll have to think of something else fast. Paint thinner on the doorway. Have a taste of your own medicine. No, yeah. bitch. <laughs> now she's stuck. So the kid got into the nanny stuff and accidentally used it to trap herself in that creepy attic. The dark side. But that's a surprisingly succinct summary of things. Yes. Shame. The nanny was certifiable. Oh, she the nanny was, a, was certifiable. She was a looker. Dooley, she was dabbling in the dark arts. <laughs> With a plan to trap innocent people in a parallel world. Kidnap their kid and steal all their cash. <laughs> I said it was a shame. Jeez. Wonder where the nanny got that occult book from anyway. That stuff is hard to find these days. <gasps> Case for another day, I guess. Like Tom alone. <laughs> First of all, we have to figure out what kind of paperwork covers this mess. Case closed. Well. That was a quick one. And yeah. it did lead into Tom alone. Maybe? Yeah, because that's it? that's where they would find the occult books at that library. Well shit, so how did the Tom Alone one end? We should have done these in order. God damn it, Joe, for making me pick Tom Alone first. They shouldn't have given you three options. Tom Alone ended... It's only two. Tom Alone ended with... Uh, um, the We well, just fixed the... Uh, there was no cliffhanger, I thought. You just let the... Uh, you had what's the faces stop fighting with the book and putting it back in its place. And yeah, we got it fixed. So order. we're going on the Disorient Express. So this will be an Agatha Christie ripoff. Hmm. Okay, summary. Dooley has called me to the subway station to deal with an emergency. All right. Let's start <laughs> the investigation. Disorient Express by Agatha Chris Don't. <clears throat> Detective, you're here. I came as soon as you called. What's the case? Case? No, I just needed a ride. Station's closed. Closed? Yeah, some spooky train is blocking the platform. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> uh, spooky train? Yep, spooky train. Anyway, we better get going or we'll be late to work. Dooley, it's a spooky train. We're the dark side division. Do you not think? I try not to. That's detective work. Huh? <laughs> Let's go have a look then. Fine, but if we miss the free donuts at work, you're buying. <laughs> Subway stairs. Let's th see what the squad car says again. Are you sure we can't go to work? I need to get my morning nap in. We're going in the subway, Dooley. More 666, by the way. Oh my god, look at this graffiti. Cops is dumb. <laughs> Not as dumb as your grammar, kid. Yeah. Kid. Take a machine. Seems to not be working, but I've no cash. Time to put this badge to work and make use of my police privilege. So up is exit. We're going to the barrier. Sorry, detective. The barrier is broken. We have to crawl under it. 
Can we at least jump over? No, the insurance for jumping was too high. We're only cleared for a slow crawl. Being a cop is nothing like television promised it would be. <laughs> Look, ghost conductor and a uh, busker. Eh, let's do the conductor. Conductor Gill. Do you have a ticket, sir? Sorry, who are you? Trains conductor, sir. Right. You look a tad uh, ghostly, sir. That I do. That I do. Are you a ghost? Not at all, sir. Ghosts are blue, for one. Uh, and they can't be seen, not without the proper equipment. No, we're from the dark side. Uh, then what are you doing here? Train stuck, sir. Doing my job to keep the passengers safe while this gets rectified. Rectified? Yes, sir. I'm sure those boys from the bright side division are looking into it right now. <laughs> bright side division? Bright side division. Right. Why are you here? As I said, sir, train stuck. Not sure what caused it. Likely a problem with the track, sir. Would have to see inside the control room to be sure, but I can't leave my post here. Tickets? <laughs> Thought not. I'm afraid I'll have to <laughs> ask you solids to leave. Did you just call us solids? <laughs> Certainly not. Sirs, I wouldn't be throwing around language like that. Goodbye. I'm back anytime, sir. Let's talk to this busker. <laughs> Unky Sam don't want you to know about the truths I'm here to show. So it makes me frown. When I smell a pig and his dumb sidekick come to shut me down. <laughs> sidekick uh, isn't a word. Poetic license. Pig. <laughs> All right, Erie train platform. Let's try the Erie train. Something about this green, transparent, and eerie train that suggests it's not meant to be here. No shit. Check the platform out. Janitor cart. A plunger. But without the plungy bit. So, a stick then? <laughs> Security camera. Wonder if this camera's caught any useful footage. But I can't see that the working light painted on. But I can see the working light is painted on. Yeah, it looks on, though. Control room. Control room is locked. For now. Dooley! <laughs> oh, come on, Detective Gib. You know as well as I do how these things go. Now we're getting meta? Yep. Hmm. Seems to be something in here. A receipt. Let's check it out. A glowing receipt that says, For pickup. I can't read much else on it. Check out the toilet. Oh, rats! Bye. Oh, you can't talk to the rat? It's a mirror. Hmm. Need to get my eyebrows plucked. Cubicle. Oh, dude shitting. Spooky hover. Um, hi there. Oh, sorry. The door was un uh, unlocked. Yeah, locks broke, and I've no feet to hold against it. <laughs> right. Well, uh, I'll leave you to it. Whoa, hold up, Daddy-O. <laughs> I'm in a bit of a funky situation. Maybe you could help me out. Oh, or uh, what's that? What is, what is it? What is it? Yeah, definitely. Stella has no toilet paper, Daddy-O, and I'm a cat that needs him some. Yeah, uh, sure. Sure, we can look. See ya. But if he doesn't have solid feet... To put against the door, how can he, he has get solid paper? turds for sure? What on earth is that? Not sure, but I think we should send it back from where it came from. Flush. No use. You could say that it is intentical on staying where it is. Mm. <laughs> I need to find something to push it down with, like this handle. My gut says. No to that one. All right. Well, <laughs> sorry. Last cubicle. Toilet paper. Creepy or not, nobody deserves to be stranded without toilet paper. He's right. He's a good detective. That noise reminds me of my career since I was assigned to the dark side division. Shut up, Dooley. Here's your TP, ghost boss. 
Here you go, guy. Sorry to leave you hovering for so long. <laughs> Far out, daddy -o. Here, take this coin as thanks. All right, an occult coin. Cool. Get out of here, rat. We're out of here. All right, the bin is still... Not the bin. Control room. Probably still locked. Got that coin. What is this coin? An evil-looking coin about the size of a quarter. You say anything new? Your ticket, sir? Nope. Uh, what about this receipt? Any idea what this is? I know what it's not, sir. It's not a ticket onto this train. Burn. Oh, you bitch. Monkey Sam. Kayla says, never has there been more need for a bathroom cougar ghost style. Seriously. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'll put the cold coin in the ticket machine. It's not a chance in hell that'll work. Oh, right. Of course. Gotta dig it. Let's get out of here. Cougar Phantom Plus, RJ says. The Bathroom Cougar Phantom Plus. <laughs> and we'll sell the classic to the people who aren't dead. Here you go, conductor. One ticket. Fine, on you go then, I suppose. Oh, look, we got a party guy, a hippie gal, and a granny. Select like a party guy. I like your glasses. Duh, they're in my party goggles. <laughs> <laughs> on your way to a party always darling every place is party place when I have mine goggles on I'm these German now and <laughs> I always have mine goggles on even here now we party on the train <laughs> hippie girl well hello there hiya where are you off to I was on my way to San Frankenstein, Cisco, obviously. Nice. But then we got stuck here. This place is terrifying. How so? Well, for a start, there's not a single screaming beast in the sky. Nobody is being followed by shadow men, and nothing is on fire. Nothing! <laughs> Maybe you're not the girl for me. Granny? Nanny Dooley, is that you? Sorry, dearie. I'm Granny Gooley. Mm. But you do look like my little Patrick, though. My name's Patrick, too. <laughs> did you also like games of I Spy as a child? I did. I spy with my little eye something coming from the end. Some, some, coming of the end. The world eating itself. Rivers of gore flooding the streets. I don't. I don't know this version of the game. Oh, seeing the end times was little Patrick's favorite. Okay, to the tracks, I guess. Kayla says somehow her voice went from Charo to Dieter on sprockets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was, was the party... That was a party guy. We're talking about the German guy? I, I lose track of characters. Ah, Dark Side Portal. It appears we've found our number one suspect for all these strange goings on. You have the right to remain silent when questioned. Anything you say or do may but Dooley, what are you doing? Reading it its rights. And how exactly do you intend to arrest it? <laughs> With my handcuffs, obviously. Top marks for enthusiasm, Dooley. I guess let's walk through this shit. Oh, look at guy. Looks like the purple rift has an accomplice. I'm going to need a second pair of handcuffs. <laughs> Agent McScream? Nice. You look familiar. Does the fire recognize the flame? Does the darkness recognize the shadow? Does the storm recognize the... The... Wind? Rain? Damn it, man! I've lost my train of thought! <laughs> so, you're an agent here, huh? We're all agents of the never-ending hunt. Servants of the crawling death void. Ministers of the world's cruelty. Well, I'm happy you're doing okay for yourself. <laughs> Thanks. It's been a lot of hard work and late nights at the office. <laughs> Any idea what's going on? Interlopers, fiends, fleshy monstrosities. 
Things that should not have come to pass. Tracks of chaos intertwine. So, not much of an idea right now, then? <laughs> no. So, <laughs> receding hairline, how's that treating you? <laughs> the end comes for us all. Entropy is a, entropy is a cruel mistress. Yeah, let's hope it's from <laughs> growing up in this weird hole. Goodbye. I best be going. We had all best be going to places we best at be at. Yeah. Okay. Oh, look, real people. It's Roxa. Finally, someone hey. to get authority. Conductor Al. Hey, Roxa. <laughs> Sorry, guy, but you don't know any more than the rest of us. Hi, detective. What's going on? Roxa, why are you here? Getting the train home from college. Then we got diverted to wherever this is. Well, we're on the case now, so get comfortable. He means... No, yeah, I get it. Let me know if I can help you out at all. Will do. Let's start immediately. Any updates, detective? What? Still investigating, <laughs> Roxa. <laughs> Great. I'll talk to headphones. Hello? Dude at the... I wonder if he even knows what's going on. Conductor Al. Stay back, monster! Whoa, calm down. Sorry, I thought you were... Him. Him? The intense man in the tunnel who threatens to arrest and or eat anyone who gets off the train. Hmm. Arrest or eat? Yep. <laughs> and I'm not sure who chooses. <laughs> What's going on here? You're not... You're really not him? I... I don't really know what happened. We left the last station on time. And some weird light flashed and now we're here wherever here is. Who's this man you keep talking about? He he looks a bit like you, only not. Not at all, now that I see you. <laughs> properly see you. He stalks about outside this train, sniffing for clues and snarling when he sees us. Sniffing glue. Sniffing glue. Picked <sighs> the wrong day to stop sniffing glue. <laughs> Has he heard anyone so far? Thankfully, no. He seems more menacing than dangerous. Goodbye. If you need anything else, I'll be here. Sorry about the mix-up earlier. Let's RJ, talk to RJ says, I love the poison mist you were in. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice, right? Let's talk to Waster. Tommy. Hey, dude. We've been on this train for ages. What's going on? I'm afraid. Because I keep seeing floating green people. I'm not at liberty. Hey, I, I think I indulged a little too much this morning, man. You probably shouldn't tell me that. I'm an officer of the law. Far out, dude. <laughs> Never mind. Let's check out the platform. I should probably stay with these people. Make sure they're okay. <laughs> You're tired of walking through tunnels, aren't you? <laughs> Stop using your Sherlock powers on me! <laughs> Ghost cop. The crime-solving cop. Now then, now then, now then. You look like one of those living folk we've got plodding about the place right now. <laughs> Officer Dooley? <laughs> Name's Gooley. Chief of the Brightside Division. Brightside? Division? Specialist? Deal with threats from your neck of the woods, uh, so to speak. My neck of the woods? The other world? That which from whence you came, son? I surmise from your appearance that you are a detective, albeit one down on his luck. Hey! <laughs> I presume that being the case, you've crossed over the investigation, your world's version of this situation. I am. Can you help? No, son, I cannot. This isn't your jurisdiction. You should leave this to us professionals. And take care of our train back in your world. Shouldn't you look into that? <laughs> Jurisdiction, son. Seems like a concept beyond a dangerous maverick such as yourself. Maybe I should slap you behind bars. Yeah, oh, look at the mystery busker. Ghost busker. 
Sing me a song, buddy. What? You're the busker, not me. That's how buskers work here. <laughs> <You're> tourist. <laughs> All right, let's go on the platform. This is a restricted area, classified personnel only. And you, a classified personnel? No, I don't think so. On account of myself and Scream, Mick Scream, being the only ones who is. So, unless you is one of us, I suggest you step back, son. Step back. Uh, okay, there's nothing else to do. So I guess go back to the train? What do you know, Roxa? Still investigating. Okay, so what you cannot help. Oh, fire extinguisher? In case of fire, pray somebody has refilled this extinguisher. So I guess I won't take it. Oh, I've got that. Can you tell me what about this receipt, sir? No, thank you. I've already eaten. Crap. Uh, what about this, Roxa? I guess it says no. Okay. Detective. What about the ghost on the other side of the station? Or um, the other? Well, oh. I'm talking to this guy. What's all this then? A note from your mum? It's a receipt! Can't you tell me anything? How about you, busker? Those look like lyrics to a song I once wrote. Arg! Beautiful. Brings a tear to my eye. <laughs> but with the memories, it stings of me childhood spent playing cops and convicts on the Isle of Screaming Tar. Okay, that didn't help. How about a handle? Doesn't feel right to me. Do you want this handle conductor? I think that says no. What if I hit the headphones guy with it? Hey, godly mode. What's up, godly mode? I am completely out of my element now. Handle on this guy? No. Okay. Okay, so I got the ghost train. Granny! <laughs> oh, this again. Okay, so you're probably not going to tell me anything new. Can't learn anything new from you. Oh, what if I give you the receipt? No. And I tried giving it to you already. I take it, yeah, yeah, yeah. How about you? Ugh, dark line. I don't buy anything from that ugly store. Get it away from me. How about you, hippie girl? I think it's called a receipt, but I'm not sure. I live off of the barter system. Hey. Granny, do you know what this is? Oh, thank you, dearie, but I don't take young men's unsolicited phone numbers anymore. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I've shown everybody everything. You've seen this, right? You've already eaten. You don't care about the receipt. Did you care about the receipt conductor? Nope. What about waster here? No. What if I hit the waster with the handle? No. Oh, I can go up the stairs. Huh. If I put this ghost receipt into the ticket machine, what happens? Nothing. Cool. What if I hit it with the handle? <laughs> nope. Whack nothing. it with the handle. <laughs> is this is this machine crying? I guess. Let's go outside to ghost town. <laughs> Come get me from the station, he said. Routine, he said. Ass. <laughs> <laughs> Burning barrel. Ah, oh, help, I'm on fire! <laughs> what an it? Ha ha ha, I'm a burning trash barrel. I'm meant to be on fire, you gonk. The look on your face. Brilliant. I'm... I'm not even... Daily Chronicle. What horrors could possibly make the news here? Mayor points off camera. Uh -huh. uh, debris. Most of the dark side city appears to be in ruin. Trains do not run on time. They run on fuel. Trains will also be late. Some things are universal, I, suppo I suppose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's check it out. Whoa! Pirate outfit. Amaze your friends, surprise your enemies, confuse real pirates with this ineffective pirate ensemble. 
<laughs> Comes with a free press ganging. What? Biker outfit. Be a badass biker. Bike not included. Are you still a biker without a bike? Be a badass walker. Assuming your ass is bad. Either in that dangerous sense or the missing a buttock way. Your, your call. Wow. Do you write these adverts yourself? No, sir. It came that way, sir. Good words, ain't they, sir? Wizard outfit. A snarky teenage wizard is welcome anywhere. Well, that's not much. <clears throat> well, not so much as welcome as he'll turn up and then he'll be there, and it's almost as much as a hassle to get rid of him as it is just to leave him be. It's my usual party vibe, anyway. So, two thumbs up for me. Shopkeep, an invisible person. Welcome, sir. It's our, that is to say, me, and it's I's pleasure to welcome you to Costume Shop. <laughs> so that is the name. Your broken sign wasn't very clear. David stopped uh, the accent. Like yeah, I gotta... <laughs> all these new characters is not going well. <laughs> if it ain't broke, don't fix it, my old fella said. And if it is broke, maybe don't fix it anyway, he did. Very practical man he was. How can I aid you, sir? Trying to intimidate your direct superior at work? Hoping to wow a six-armed lover? Tired of looking like a hobo? <laughs> hey! That's our motto. Whatever your shame, spiders got you covered. Oh, damn it. So nothing new? Uh, oh, the receipt. One tick, sir. Oh, miss, miss Biscotti. I does beg your pardon, miss. I should have known. Obvious to me now it is. I'll go get your items for you now, miss. Oh, um, yes, thanks. There, here you go, miss. One swim cap. Thanks, I guess. Swim cap. Wicked mustache. What's this one? Looks normal enough to me. <laughs> normal, miss? Why, that's a very... Pillar summers are built on, miss. A friend and mentor to those in need. A shoulder to cry on. A person willing to live in a wood hut with no air conditioning. The legendary camp counselor, miss. <laughs> Nobody would buy that as a camp counselor. Oh, but they do, miss. It's not... The mustache, miss. Oh, no, it's the mustache, mustache miss. Shows him to be a rugged wilderman. Wilderman? Yeah. Suited for the rough and tumble life of a camp counselor. Not for the timid folk like you and I, <laughs> miss. No. Miss, not for shop vendors and coat warmers. No. So what do we do? Punk wig. Dressed like a punk. On a road warrior from the fu- Or a road warrior from the future. Or, um, you could wear this and be, I don't know, a carrot? <laughs> well, I'm convinced. Look at the cash register. Miss, I'll ask you mighty nice not. But once, keep your dainty fingers from my money box. What do I do with that? Okay, let's look at the poster. Indecipherable blocks coming soon to a theater near you. Oh, God. Well, now what do I do? Given how little time I know about the... Given how little I know about this place... Ugh, works. They can sell costumes here. I'll turn into one. Debris station. So that was it. I just had to get the swim cap. There's nowhere else to go. Ticket machine is crying. Do you need a swim cap? No. <laughs> <laughs> Did you need a handle again? Chief Gooley. Who would I give a... And what would I do with the swim cap? Do you need it, Roxa? No. Do you need it, detective? Agent? No. Oh, dang it. Um. Give it to the granny. Granny? God says no. Huh. What do I use a skim kiss skin cap swim cap for? Hmm. 
Can you put it on? Uh, pff, an almost skin color swimming cap. I cannot. I need to find something to complete this disguise before I put it on. Oh. So I do need to make a disguise? They're going to want... He probably wants you to look like... It's a boss. Full of ones and zeros. How would anyone wear these? I could... I could try, I could try get my hands on a two for a larger miss, such as yourself. That's as confusing as it is insulting. If you look at, if you look like this man, this might be a mirror. Also, you may be wanted by the police for questioning. Interesting. Blah, 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 blah. Clicked on everything in here. Daily Chronicle. I can't pick that up. The city is fucked. That's fucked. Uh, the handle of the burn barrel? Nope. The skid cap? That won't work. I feel like it has something to do with the, um, like the last place you go when you went onto the platform with the other ghost guy and the opposite world busker. You won't let me pass. I need... I know. You need your disguise. So it, I but wonder if he says something. Roxa, can you help me? No? <laughs> Great. Thanks. Headphones? Still nothing? Great. You've got nothing more to help me with, Agent. What do you say, Dooley? Did you ever see that documentary about cannibals that live in the subway tunnels? No, me either, which is why, <laughs> which I regret right now. <laughs> Dooley, there are no cannibals in the subway. You don't know that. You didn't see the documentary. It's true. There's nothing to click on in here. Do you want the swimming cap, sir? No. Anybody in the typing square have a an idea? What do you say in here, Dooley? Eh, nothing. Hmm. Swim cap on the portal? Okay. you tell me anything? I should arrest you. Or if opted, only McScream and me is allowed in. You ain't one of us. I know, but... You need to know what McScream looks like. He's the guy that looks like the guy that I keep walking past. He's this guy. He's got a goatee, and like we have practically the same hair, except his is waning. But I can't get any more costumes out of the costume place because there's nothing more clickable. There's nowhere to go outside of... Oh, let's look at the sky. It hurts my eyes to look. Great! The one place I had left to look and it's... Not talking to that jerk. Can I give you the handle, sir? No? Can you take the... Like goatee beard thing off of one of the costumes? No, it just gets me into this dialogue loop again. What if I put the swim cap on the wig and mustache? Nope, doesn't work. Put it on you. Nope. Because I feel like you somehow just need that. Well, yeah, of course, but I don't know how to get there. And I'm, all I have at my disposal is a stick yeah. and a swimming cap. What if I break open the Daily Chronicle? Nope, that doesn't work either. Can't walk any further that way. And the machine's crying. 
Oh, there's mold. A dark patch of fuzzy mold. I think it's looking at me. I've received fuzzy mold. Boom. Okay, so I just needed to get the mold. And I did, so... Put on the bad disguise. Time to try this. I can't remember myself to call it a disguise. Time to try whatever this is out, I guess. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Hold up, son. Do you think I've <laughs> that I've not seen my fair share of disguises? This one is particularly poor. <laughs> What well, with it practically partially made of some fungus and you lacking a certain floaty, transparent quality. Well, it's worth a shot. It was. I wish that agent I was sent was so innovative. I tell you what, son. In you go. Maybe you can solve this one after all. <laughs> what about jurisdiction? Ahem. Jurisdiction. I'll paperwork up a solution. <laughs> now, orf you up before I change my mind. Right, thanks. Let's go into the control room. Computer. All systems operating correctly. Cool. Let's not touch anything in case I change that. Okay, key rack. Who doesn't like having keys? Mm hmm. There's a poster of a skeleton kitty. Looks like he's hung there for too long. <laughs> a bin. Note saying, she loathes me, she loathes me not. Nice, healthy relationship. Computer, we got a key. Nothing else to do in here. Okay, we're outie. The toilet. Whoa, this cubicle's locked. Looking good, Frankie. <laughs> I, think, <laughs> I think you've let yourself go. Shut up, reflection. <laughs> Wait, what? cubicle this place looks familiar either that's a clue or there is one lazy artist hanging around here <laughs> graffiti oh toilet flush huh the water goes both clockwise and counterclockwise here okay anything in here seems to be something stuck in there that's better Ugh, thanks I mean flush you received a plunger head. Hooray. Cha-ching. Now I made a plunger. I'm going to try the plunger on the toilet. <laughs> Get that away from me. Now I'll try it on this one. Hey, okay. Nothing to plunge here. All right. Anything in the bin? It's full of pictures of you playing a game. Where a tiny pixel man looks at a trash can <laughs> and pictures of you. Got me there. Let's get out of here. Thanks, detective. What's that you have there? It's It smells of evidence to me, but you shall not take it beyond this point. Looks like I'll have to put this key back until I find... Oh, God damn it. Can you hold the key? Nope. So... I think I've got it. I'll put the key in the toilet. I don't think it will find its way to the other side without a guide. Well, I was gonna push it in with the plunger. I need a guide? Where am I going to get a toilet snake? Jeez. Oh, Nailed shut. Growling, hey. scratching, banging on the door. That squid tentacle. Well, that's in the other bathroom that I can't get past because the guy's blocking my way. Do I put the key in the bin? <sighs> Got to find a way to get it past the dude. Want to mess with the computer? <sighs> Can okay. So who's gonna get? Do you want this key, Roxa? No. Tried that. Want this plunger, dude? 
No. Do you want the key? You can't walk past him while holding the key. Do you want the plunger platform conductor? No. Uh, so what if I... Okay. I'll feed it to the talking toilet. Mm. Get in there. I feel like I should investigate this toilet further before feeding it keys. Did you just say flush? No? You definitely did. I'm a detective. I don't mess things like talking toilets. Ah, you got me. I can talk. Big whoop. Just do your business and move on. I ain't breaking no laws, cap. <laughs> I'm okay, thanks. A talking toilet, huh? And I thought I had a crappy job. Cut me a break. It pays the bills. Besides, I got dreams, man. I'm gonna be a star. Dreams? I'm gonna be a comedian, man. Wanna hear a joke? Uh, well, as long as they're not too crappy. <laughs> Everyone's a comedian. Forget it, man. Talk to it more? Okay, seriously, I wanna hear the joke. Okay. Why wouldn't Rex bark? He was a goldfish. Back for more? Go on. Why did the guy get... Th Why did the guy throw the butter out the window? He wanted to see a butterfly. Classic. Can't stay away, can you? One more. What do you call a donkey with three legs? A wonky? No. You call it a donkey. Its physical disability should have no bearing on how you see it, you monster. <laughs> I, uh... Um, here's one for you. What's green and smelly? <laughs> it always comes back to toilet humor with you humans. All right, can I feed him the key now? Can you flush this to the other side for me? What? You think it's just because I can talk? I'm magical? Sorry, man, but you're on your own. Well, shit! I'm gonna stick this plunger in your face. Look, Mr. Potty Mouth is back. It was just a joke. I forgive you, man. I'd hate to be a party pooper, but I'm... Ch Look at that. Two strikes and a cymbal crash. Even the toilet knows. I'm here all <laughs> week. Try the veal. I'm joking. Don't try the veal. This is a bathroom, not a fancy restaurant. <laughs> I'm going now. I don't blame you. So he won't flush the key. Okay. So... Try one more time in the other one. This place looks familiar. Either that or what if I on the graffiti? Doesn't feel right. Plunger on the graffiti? That doesn't feel right. Plunger on the toilet? Nothing to plunge here. Key in the toilet? Then why did you think the uh the talking toilet would get it there, idiot? What is that picture of the graffiti? What is it of? A smiley face and a Stick figure. Making progress. Working on it. Keep it up, son. I need help! Anything now, Roxa? You bitch. Give me a hand. And you won't let me pass? <sighs> what to do? What to do? Well, now that I've got the plunger, maybe I can use it on the... Somebody in here? Plunger on the mustache? No. Plunger on this? No. Plunger on the guy? Plunger on this? Will he hold the key for you? Oh, yeah. Hey, can you take this key? Nope, he won't take it. Can you take the key, Fire? No. What about the plunger? No. Uh, crying thing. Can you take the key? No. Do you want this plunger? No. Do you want the plunger? Shit. 
All right. Uh, so there's just pictures in the garbage can. Can I use the plunger on the computer? No. Can the key be used on the computer? Bin. Toilet, help! <laughs> oh, that was a achievement unlocked for that, though. Oh. Talking to the toilet more than it wants to talk to you. The achievement. <sighs> Do I need more mold? It's definitely looking at me. Glaring, I'd say. I think I angered it last time I took a piece. Plunge of the mold? No. Key the mold? No. <laughs> did you try putting the key back where you got it from? Where did I get it? I don't know. I don't remember. It was in the... It was, it was on was the it? rack. I guess I could... Somebody will be mine. A little key. Yeah, so mine. Okay, so there... Yeah, like, so leave the key. This is annoying. So, yeah, I probably have to plunge that squid arm out probably. of the... Probably. Platform. There we go. Into the toilet. <laughs> Into the cubicle. Plunge it away. All right, you little sucker. Ha! Sucker! Tentacles! Very good. I should be helping, shouldn't I? <laughs> Flush. I wonder where the wee fella is now. I bet I know. <laughs> I gotta run back and put the key in the squid's hand and then make it do the thing. Okay, this is getting a little click heavy like Monkey Island used to be. Mm. You were in the city of Melee. No, it's going to be this one. There we go. Oh, the Wiggly Buddies. That's where I sent you. Here, you hold this key. And then go to hell. Splush. Oh, I lost Dooley somewhere. <laughs> he stuck back where uh, the other oh, I picked him are. back up. There we go. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh crap. Hurry, Dooley. To the toilets. Hey, thanks, Tentacle. His name's Dave. Did you name that Tentacle Dave? Don't be jealous, Dooley. You're still my favorite. <laughs> All right, back to the platform. Now we can open up the control room. Kablamo! <laughs> See what's behind door number two. Whoa, a pentagram. Engineer Tam. What? How'd you get in? Tam locked that door from the inside. This is your handiwork, I take it? They should have fired old Tam for sleeping on the job. They shouldn't have fired old Tam. Told him he didn't. His black magic classes started at midnight and he <laughs> ran through. Morning shifts aimed for old Tam. Heavy sleeper he is. Book him, Dooley. I left my books at the station. Can I use these handcuffs instead? Arrested. Let's look in this bin. <laughs> Stop going through the trash. An unexpected but strangely relevant note. Let's check out this computer. Yeah, definitely bad. An old floppy disk popped out. This must be how the virus was installed. <gasps> Could prove useful. And escape. Engineer Tam. People think twice about firing old Tam now. <laughs> They'll think twice about hiring you, too. Wait, what? Get out of there, guy. You've seen what happens for far too... Whatever. Da -da 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 -da. You talk about detective? There's a dead cat. Ritual stuff. Looks like this place was the scene of some occult goings-on. Mm -hmm. The cinnamon candle reminded me of Christmas, though, which is nice. <laughs> old Tam was always fond of Christmas. 
Pappy used to buy us all trains, and Mama gave us voodoo dolls. Magical time of year. Stay here, Dooley. Make sure this guy doesn't get away. But then how is old Tam meant to escape? That's... That's the point. Ah, well, taint fair. Now I've got to run all the way back to the freaking other computer on the other side of the goddamn spectral realm. And virus the shit out of it. I mean, I guess. Oh. I figured you'd give it to Roxa. But she's on the computer. Isn't she on the computer? Here, Roxa. Cursed disc. You think you can make any sense of this? The f computer's fucked. <laughs> oh, this is an occult virus. Yeah, I think it's the blame for all the goings on. I can probably talk you through how to make an antivirus on my machine. That's what I was hoping for. Thanks. You have to talk me through it? Ah! Uh, so what do I do? You need to clean the infected sectors of the disk. Sounds easy. Not so easy. It's a virus, so each sector you clean will infect those around it. You can also lure the virus from infected sectors onto clean ones, cleaning the infected areas. Why would I do that? To beat the virus! You have to make sure it has nowhere to hide. That will involve tricking it. It's a virus, not a fucking weasel. Sounds harder than I expected. Don't worry, I made a backup. Just hit reset if you need me to roll back so you can start again. You're my hacker, why don't you do this? So it's Minesweeper. <sighs> Which I suck at. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know Minesweeper. Oh, nope. Sucking hardcore at it. So close. I don't think so, though. Okay. Bam. Oh, yeah, I think that's it. Mine, sweeper. Okay, great. And you're sure this will work? Sure. Is a, oh no. Sure is a strong word when dabbling with the occult. But I think so, yes. Well, if it does, the city owes you big time. Really? Because I'm only on this train due to a mountain of parking tickets. See ya, Roxa. <laughs> RJ says you have to make them all smiles. <laughs> <laughs> Smile sweeper. Not where I need to be right now. I need to go this way. Sorry, control room. Enjoy this antivirus, you digital devil. Uploading antivirus now. Uploading the gigabytes. Ah. Oh, so it was just a virus that stopped the train? Wait, or a computer virus opened up the portal to another dimension. To bring them back to the dark side. What the fuck? Great work, detective. You got the trains moving again. See how it's 666th Street? Mm-hmm. Dooley, you understand what just happened here, right? No? Let's get this guy to the cells. Ha 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 ha! How are you gonna get me there? Train ain't running! <laughs> we just... We just talked about how it was fixed. Weren't you listening? <laughs> Plus, we have this car. <laughs> this has not been a good day for Tam. <laughs> Case closed. Not Casey Jones. Casey Tam. <laughs> Alright, well that's the first three cases. Hmm. But and just like an Oreo, we ate the middle first. Yep. Next one will be police farce, but that's probably enough for tonight. We did Malice in Wonderland and the Disorient Express. I gotta tell you, this game is hitting me at like about a five. I'm not super like t tell me in the comments, is this something I don't know. It feels kind of eh, bland. You did it, RJ says. Yeah, I mean, I I personally am not a huge fan of point-and-click games, but 
I like. I think the stories are kind of cute in this one and interesting. And they're okay, but they're not really. T there wasn't any through line after the other one. There's not a whole lot of. Yeah, the only thing that got added on to this one was Roxa. Yeah, I mean they're kind of small. They're like it's it's maybe it comes together eventually. Like there's a little bit of world building, but it it doesn't. But for whatever, 12 bucks, 13 bucks, whatever it was. Is it okay? Eh, I don't know. We're halfway done. We'll see if there's more. Yeah. It's like, uh, what's the nuts? Road 96 opened up a couple of secret levels. That's true. Although, I don't know. That, eh, the writing isn't so funny that I'm coming back for all the jokes, but it's not bland enough that I'm like, meh, so I don't know. It has to get really bad really quickly or really good really quickly, or it's going to so uh, finish at a solid five, which nobody wants. You don't want to be in the middle of anything. That's so, true. Like, uh. This is definitely better than Road 96, though. Yeah, it, it definitely is, <laughs> but just barely. But that's the thing about Road 96 is since it was, like, worse, it's actually kind of better because at least there was something to complain about. This is just sort of white bread... With like the jokes aren't necessarily there and the horror isn't necessarily there and the references are okay but not great. I don't know. We got three more to go. We'll see what happens. Anyway, guys, thanks for showing up. RJ, Kayla, Joe, Godly Mode, everybody. Um, super great to have you. You know, more more uh, more to come. So we'll catch you on the next episode of whatever this is. Bye. <laughs> Podcasts Radio.